speaking of insolvency proceedings, the race to acquire distressed as steel assets is heating up with top steel makers, private equity players vying for the same assets. We learned that some of the largest players in the market have submitted their bids for a controlling stake in Monet Espot. And the bids may include those from the promoters of the company as well. So whether or not that changes, we don't know. But for now, Ritu Singh is here with exclusive details. Ritu, that stock rallied nearly 11% after we broke the story. Who are the suitors and what can we expect as far as the promoter interest is concerned? Well, uh, the least I can say is the stressed asset space is abuzz with M&A activity. A number of NCLT cases have come up for bids, especially in the steel sector. And some marquee names, including that from JSW, you know, across the top steel makers and funds are eyeing for the same assets. Monodispath could perhaps be the first among the 12 IBC cases uh, where firm bids are now being placed. And the outcome of this particular resolution will set the stage for many others that are to follow. So we do understand from our sources that top players like JSW Steel, Tata Steel, Vedanta Group, as well as Kolkata based Sham Metallics, are among the contenders for Monitor's Path. There are other funds also that are eyeing acquisition of Monitor's Path, including Blackstone, TPG, SSG Capital, and Edelweiss ARC. Remember, some of these players, like JSW Steel and Blackstone, had also earlier attempted a buyout of the company, but their offers were either rejected by the lenders or did not qualify. But now, of course, they're trying again. Sources have also indicated that the promoters of the company, that is the Jajodias, uh, are also very keen to participate in the bidding and are looking to tie up with a fund or a private equity player for the same. They're also likely to submit their proposal before that deadline ends. Uh, Monet, remember, has a debt of over 10,300 crore rupees to a consortium of lenders that is headed by State Bank of India, which have formed the committee of creditors along with the IRP to evaluate these bids. The last date for submission has been extended by 10 days from 17 November to 27th of November, and that's the date to watch out for.